So after yesterday's video, I'm kind of on a nostalgia hype train, man. Let's talk about the Mosin. This bad boy right here has had one of the craziest falls from grace that I've ever seen, especially in Phantom Forces. So let's take a little like, you know, talk about a little bit of the history of it. So when the Mosin was in the game for the longest time, I personally considered it to be the best sniper. The reason for that being is that even though things like the intervention had a far one shot torso range, it still was not fast by any means. If you wanted a lot of kills, you went with the Mosin, plain and simple. It just it shot so much faster. The kills per minute, everything was just much higher for that reason also one thing that really assisted the mosin back in the day was the fact that there was i believe it was two studs for the headshot hitbox compared to one or maybe it was one and a half uh the exact measurements i'm not 100 certain but there was a bigger hitbox for headshots back in the day why that got changed i'm actually not sure i'm sure it was simply just because it was too much uh but i don't know the very specific reason as to why but the mosin in particular obviously benefited benefited like crazy from that you had a gun that was fast firing only one shot to the head and had bigger headshot hitboxes obviously going to do good now you also had things of course like the intervention the r700 existed uh of course the bfg has always existed but we don't oh my god i think that guy literally just got a five and one on the escalator um things like the bfg existed but we don't really care about that and it was really just mosin or intervention i guess the r700 was also in contention but the r700 was never anything super special it was another sort of if you wanted headshots go for that if you didn't have the mosin unlocked that's kind of how i saw it if you didn't have the mosin unlocked you would use the r700 and that didn't really leave too much room other than for the mosin to kind of be the top dog then the mosin eventually had the ammo conversion added i tried looking before i don't see the ammo conversion anymore um maybe they moved it to like the other category which would be weird i don't know i i just don't see it but for those of you guys who played during that time i guarantee you know exactly what i'm talking about the mosin became a one shot to the torso demon it was absolutely nuts flat out just overpowered every other sniper it was obvious from the minute that it was added that it was just going to be the top sniper no way fans or butts there was nothing else that can compete and that lasted for a few months as buffs and stylus and phantom forces tend to do they usually take a while to get nerfed because updates are not too frequent oh we should have hit that so it lasted for quite a while the mosin just became the top dog no contest and while that was cool and all it definitely sucked to play against anyone could run around with a mosin and just be absolutely nuts with it because as long as you just hit the torso you more or less got the kill now it didn't have the furthest one shot torso range but at it with its speed and everything else it obviously just outclassed everything and this is where the mosin really peaked it was with that ammo conversion now did that mosin really need that ammo conversion i'm sure that's up for debate i personally felt like it didn't uh, and adding it caused more harm than good but that's my opinion with a lot of things on this game so take that with a grain of salt then you go ahead and you come forward and that ammo conversion gets nerfed rightfully so it did not deserve to stay as it was and with that getting nerfed came the fact that the Mosin went back to kind of its standard style. Now, you have the extended mag on the Mosin, but it's not, you know, super crazy. I mean, yeah, having 10 bullets is great and all, but ever since that headshot nerf, things have really gone downhill for not only myself, but I would assume for most other Mosin players, it's just no longer worth it. The sniper meta has evolved to something more of a torso shot meta rather than the headshot meta that it once was. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. I, I don't really have any real complaints about that. I'm just kind of astonished that the Mosin has fallen off so so greatly over the years going from being like the top sniper going to you know eventually being like yeah you know it's still good but not your first pick we hit these body shots hold up uh mostly going from being the top sniper to kind of being like maybe your second or third pick going back up to being undoubtedly the top sniper and now just kind of eh. I really don't see people using the Mosin all that much anymore, which kind of sucks because for me, it's such a nostalgia piece that I love this gun. You know, I had almost 20,000 kills on it before I reset my account. I used it quite a lot. And especially in the clipping era of Phantom Forces where like Paradox was up there and Rage and all that, all the clipping stuff was really popular. That's when the Mosin really shined because five shot headshots were pretty dang nice. And it was just faster than everything else. Especially if you picked up a second Mosin, clipping was at its peak for that. But now, man, kind of wish that we would see it more often kind of wish we had the two stud headshot back but at the same time i don't because i feel like players on this have just become so much better than they once were or at least i should say the average player has become so much better than what they used to be and for that oh no oh no come here come here no 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 no, no. We're, we're pausing our thought and for that having a two stud headshot would make things pretty interesting even for just like assault rifles or even certain pistols like maybe desert eagles guns that benefit any gun that really benefits from headshots uh would obviously become much better overall 
guy's got a shotgun. I'm not going to peek it anymore. Uh, it would benefit so much more from that. And would that be a good thing? Probably not. Would I love to have it back and enjoy the full, full glory of the Mosin, especially Mosin with extended mag? If the extended mag existed back in the day when clipping was at its peak and the Mosin was at its peak without the ammo conversion, oh, God. I know the extended mag was something that we asked for for a really long time. I just feel as though it came about at the wrong time. Uh, after adding that ammo conversion, the extended mag just kind of looked... I feel like the hype for the Mosin was gone once that ammo conversion was nerfed and what looks like eventually taken out of the game. And that's okay. It's just kind of miss it. I, I kind of miss the headshot factor of it. Or I guess I should say I miss the headshot meta of snipers. I'm not upset with the current body shot meta, but I feel as though the skill factor of sniping definitely has gone down a decent bit. When you have guns like the Intervention that, what, could one-shot up to 150 studs? I don't know if that's still now or if that was just at a one certain moment. Up to 150 stud one-shot, then it's becoming kind of average for snipers that are added into the game to have a 100 stud one-shot which is quite a lot and it's not the worst thing but you take things like the trg which has an insane one shot you know range but it's a lot faster well not a lot faster but it's a little bit faster than most other snipers i i don't know man i'm at a weird point with the sniper category where i missed the headshot meta i'm not upset with the body shot meta but i would love to see something like i guess my perfect example would be the scout when the scout came out i was super excited that is the peak of headshot meta sniping nowadays not as great because especially that headshot uh, radius nerf or headshot hitbox nerf, the scout definitely is not anywhere near as good as it once was, which I believe that headshot nerf came after the scout. So if I'm wrong, please correct me on that. But I believe the headshot hitbox was after the scout had come out. And the scout was just awesome. I remember when that gun first came out, I was making videos on it nonstop. I just absolutely loved it. It was the peak of like a skilled sniper that really rewarded you for putting in the time to learn it and putting in the time to hit those headshots. I kind of miss it, man. I really do. I miss that excitement that I had for the scout. I miss the excitement I had for the Mosin. And I would truthfully love for it to be back. But would it ever be the same without that headshot hitbox being changed again? And at this point in the game, I also don't think that changing that back would be beneficial in any way. I think in honest all honesty, it would probably cause more harm than good. I think most people have adjusted to what it is now. Adding any easy mode to the game would just hurt it. <laughs> I, I guess easy mode's a weird way to put it, but I'm sure you guys get what I mean. Adding anything that would help even more probably wouldn't be for the best. We've seen throughout time that guns have changed, of course, incredibly. Uh, the Mosin just was my example of what felt like it was the biggest change over time, where it just went from being, you know, the go-to to no longer being the go-to, back to the go-to, and now just kind of not used. I can't tell you guys the last time I've seen anyone use the Mosin, period. Truthfully, uh, I'm trying to think about it now as I'm talking. I never see it used. And that's just the fall from grace that it had, man. It was once upon a time the, the sniper to have. You know, if somebody asked me to recommend them a sniper a few years ago, it was the Mosin hands down every single time. You introduce the TRG, Mosin kind of became obsolete at that point. You introduce some of the intervention buffs, Mosin became even more obsolete. And today, where the Mosin currently stands, good sniper, but with the skill kind of curve required for it, not the pick for everyone. Wow, I don't know who's worse, me or him. No longer really the pick for anyone. And I honestly don't even really recommend the Mosin anymore because of that because you are just so much better off using these other snipers. That's really all I got to say for it. I know I probably repeated myself a hundred times as though I normally do, uh, but that just tends to be the style of a God status video, and I'm sure you guys are used to it at this point. Nonetheless, though, uh, one thing I do love about sniper body shot meta is that I am insane with no scopes, and body shotting no scope with a sniper is not only satisfying, it looks pretty cool, uh, and also just makes it seem like I'm better at the game than I really am. So that's been pretty nice to have, but that basically wraps up the game. We only got 52 kills in about 10 minutes. That's pretty rough well about nine minutes uh but what do you expect when you're going against you know fully automatic guns and ooh, you would have been dead or i would have missed probably would have missed uh but thank you guys so much for watching let me know your opinions on where the snipers stand at this point i don't really have many complaints but i just wanted to kind of mention the uh the history of the bows in a little bit thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out